One of the kind of neat things in the area of animations is that if you've built some really cool animations in PowerPoint 2007 for your e-learning courses, then it's really easy to leverage the time that you've already spent building those animations and just swap out different pictures to fit your other courses. So here's an example. I've got this slide here that uses this animation technique of these hands kind of pushing things onto my slide. And we've got another tutorial that shows how to create this effect if you'd like to learn about that. It's really just some images and some motion path animations that you can apply in PowerPoint. And then in this example, I've published the whole thing with Articulate Presenter. So let's just say I really like this effect and I want to use it in another course, but this other course you know, probably has a very different look and of course I would also need to use different images as well. Well, what I can do is reuse all of the animation work and just swap out the pictures. And by doing that, I can make it look something like this. And this new slide that you see here only took me about 60 seconds to build because once I'd selected my new images, I was able to just reuse those animations that I had already built for the other slide. So let's see how we can do this. I'm gonna switch over to PowerPoint. And here's a new slide, and I've already applied a new background image here. And what I want to do is use that same animation effect that we saw in the example, but use different images for it. So I'm going to go to the slide that contains the animations that I've already built, which is slide two in this example. I'm just going to hit control A to select all the items on this slide. And then I'm going to use control C to copy them to my clipboard. And now I'm going to move to that new slide. And now we can hit control V, which is going to paste everything into that new slide. And you'll notice here that all of my motion paths got copied too. That's what these arrows are right here. And that's the really important part, right? Because those animations are what take a little bit of time to build. So now all I need to do here is swap out my picture. So I'm going to right click on a picture, choose change picture, and then I can navigate to the image that I want to use and then click insert. And the cool thing here is that any of the PowerPoint picture effects that you applied to your original image are now going to be applied to the new image. So you can see on this one, I used um, some rounded corners here on my previous image, and now they're applied to this new image. And the same is true for other picture effects like the border, the shadows, um, reflections, all those things get preserved right along with um, the uh, animations that you have applied to that image as well. So now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and just go through these other images and change those out too. That just takes a couple of seconds for each one. There's the third one, and then one more down here. And there's our last one. So now what I can do is come up here to the Articulate menu, select Preview, and then choose Preview this slide. And this is going to give us a peek at what it's going to look like once it's published with Presenter. Okay, so here's our preview, and we see the hands kind of, you know, pushing the images of the dinosaurs into place. This all looks pretty good. Okay, so there's our slide. And it looks like I'd probably want to do a little bit of fine tuning here right in between the second and third images. Um, looks like there's just a little bit of a gap. So what I'd probably do is go back to PowerPoint. I would select this image here, this third one, and then also select the hand that moved it into place and just scoot both of those items over just a little bit to the left so that we wouldn't have that gap right there. And you might find that this is true for you too. Depending on the size and the proportion of the new images that you swap in, you might need to adjust their positions a little bit just to get things you know, right where you want them. But it's definitely a time saver instead of building every single animation from scratch. So I think you'll find if you're working a lot with animations, this is a real nice way to reuse some of the cool effects that you can create and still keep your development time under control.